what's one little tiny way that you can get a few more bites on your plastic worms this is just a little tiny thing you can do <coughs> but it's a good one Good morning, guys and girls. May 15, May 15, a windy, 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 windy Oklahoma day. Absolutely no doubt about it. Proverbs 15, 4. This is a short one, but it's a great one. Dishonest words crush the spirit. Dishonest words. Saying something about something or somebody that's not true. In other words, dishonest words. Uh, some people call it gossip. One of some of the old bass and gals used to say, Honey, it's not gossip if you're talking about your friends. Well, it, if it's not true, it can crush the spirit. Crush the spirit. Absolutely crush the spirit. We've got hundreds of bluegill and perch that hang out at our dock. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day, hit that subscribe button right now. Subscribe. This channel will change your life. Promise. All I'm going to say about that. We've got hundreds of bluegill and perch that hang out at our dock. My grandkids love to catch these fish. Can I tell you, Jimmy loves to catch these fish too. I love them. I, we catch them a lot accidentally while we're bass fishing. And these big bluegills are usually hitting bass bait, and they're a ball to catch. The kids like to use Ber Berkeley crappie nibbles. These are a little prepared power bait that we use to tip road runners and little Lucky Strike crappie jigs. And sometimes you just put them on a little hook. With a small hook, it's dynamite for these small panfish. The problem is that the little ones steal your bait often without the kids even knowing that they had a bite. And they're not going to catch one pretty quick. You say, pull it up and check if you got a crappie noodle on there. They pull it up and they don't. These are great little bites. My buddy down in uh, Louisiana, Ross Cagle and Steve Cagle, got me using those years and years ago. And so I started buying them and used them at home. on, on uh, And they, did, they use them all the time for crappie. I mean, that's what they're designed for. But they work dynamite on bluegill, dynamite on bluegill. And they've got another little bait now that's kind of a little red wiggler that's uh, in that power bait too that comes in those little bottles. And... Uh, you know, there. I, I used to work for Berkeley years ago. I worked for them for about 30 years. Then they fired me. But uh, but they those little those little uh, red wigglers they make because you can actually take your scissors and just uh, clip off a little part of one and put it on a hook and you can catch bluegill after bluegill after bluegill. They actually work a lot better than those crappie nibbles do. As a matter of fact, there's a little bit a little, little bit of built-in larceny in everyone. You know what I'm saying? There's a little bit of built-in larceny in everyone. Those little small fish stealing the bait. The devil uses this to hurt others, especially in what we say. The devil uses our little built-in evil larceny to hurt other people. Words can be more damaging than physical pain. Words, what we say about other people, can be more damaging than physical pain. If the truth hurts, you've heard that all your life, the truth hurts, how much more a lie? If you say something bad about somebody that's true and that hurts them, how much more damaging can a lie be when you say something bad about somebody but it's not true at all? It's a lie. It's made up. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a news report. <laughs> be extra careful to not let the devil, not let Satan lead you into a falsehood because you can get involved in some conversations and something pops into your mind and just the devil says, say it, say it, go ahead, say it, say it, say it. And sometimes you do. Don't let the devil lead you into falsehood. After all, God wants us to build up, not crush. Dishonest words, you go back to that scripture, dishonest words crush the spirit, crush the spirit. Like taking a pop can and putting your foot on it and smashing it. Dishonest words. But that's not what God wants us to do. That's not what our job is with those around us. Lord, let me say something that will help somebody today. Let me be a blessing to everyone I come in contact with. That should be our prayer. Our prayer should not be, hey, devil, I may make up a lie or two about somebody and crush their spirit. Even if it's someone that's done you wrong, even if it's someone that has crushed your spirit somewhere in your, in your life, Say good things about them. Say something to them or about them that will build up, that will lift them up. Don't let the devil trap you. Don't let the devil. That's, he's trying to do that. And he'll pop those things into your mind. But you've got a Holy Spirit down inside of you that's going to nudge you a little bit and say, don't say it. Don't do it. Don't say it. Don't, don't make it up. Don't say that about them. Even if it's the truth, because the truth hurts. 
How much more can a lie hurt? Here's our tip for today, and this is a good one right here. I love it. Our tip for today is rattles often produce extra bites of a plastic worm. There's a lot of different kind of rattles you can put in a plastic worm. The very best kind I've found is glass rattles. Glass rattles you can buy them at Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's, and they come in little packs, and they're very inexpensive, and you just simply stick them down in the plastic worm. If you don't lose your plastic worm, you can take the rattles out and use them in, in uh, more worms that you put on. As you, you, you know, Sometimes you can use the same rattle in quite a few different plastic worms. If you lose it, it's just a, it's, it's still it's a very inexpensive deal, but they, they come in plastic plastic and in glass, you're better off with the glass rattles, they make a lot more noise, and generally that produces a lot more bites. Sometimes the rattles make all the difference in the world. We often never know what little trick we use that causes us to catch more fish. We, we try a lot of little tricks, and sometimes some little something will make a difference, and all of a sudden we start catching them when we wasn't catching them, and we know that that makes a difference. I've found a lot of times just adding a rattle to a soft plastic bait makes a lot of difference. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. It's going to be a great day to have fun. And remember, I sure do love you.